Hello. So we just got back from Animalia Island, Florida, and I kind of want to give you um, my overview on what we did, what we thought about it, where we stayed, what we did. Um, that way, if you've never been before, maybe you're interested in some things, or if you have been before um, and you haven't tried the places that I tried, you can try them next time. Or if you've been before and I haven't mentioned something that you think I should try, definitely let me know. Um, because I'm sure we'll be going back. So first off, we actually drove to Anna Marie Island, Florida from South Carolina. It's a 10 hour drive straight through with no stops. So of course with kids and a dog and a flat tire delay, it took us about 15 hours to get there, which was a really long time. Um, but it didn't take us quite as long to get back. It took us 13 hours to get back. It wasn't too bad of a drive. Um, if we go again, we may fly because <sighs> I don't, it, it was a long drive, but if you're taking your dog, you know, it's just easier to, to drive usually. Um, a note about the dog, um, dogs are not allowed on any beach in Anna Maria Island, which we knew, um, and she was perfectly fine going on walks around the, around the island and enjoying lazy time at the pool, so it worked out just fine. But, um, we did rent a house, and I do suggest if you go, especially if you have kids who, they say they love the beach, but when you get there, all they want to do is swim in the pool. <laughs> um, I would definitely suggest renting a house with a private pool. That was probably the highlight of our trip. We really loved our house. It was super cute, super clean, super close to the beach. Um, I actually have a little video tour of our house. Um, if you want the information on that, let me know and I can give you the link. Um, but again, it was a super cute house. It was on the south end of the island um, in Bradenton. Um, but it was, it was close to, we were right near the bay, a house across the road from the bay and then a block to the beach. Um, so the beach access wasn't bad at all. That's another thing. We always have to be close to the beach because with kids, they go back and forth, back and forth. So we have to make sure we're in good walking distance, um, from the beach wherever we stay. Finally made it to the beach house. This is the living room. It is so cute. It's huge. And then the kitchen. And then let's go over here. Okay, so we got one bedroom here. Bedroom. And then, hey. And then the other bedroom. Hold on, bud. Bath. Say hey. <laughs> there's another bathroom in here. I think Shelby's in there. And then there's one more bedroom. Come in here. You showing them? Oh, look. Is this your bedroom? Well, I guess it'll really be mine because I'm sure I'll be sleeping in here with you. Full size bunk beds. Oh, Wendy's going to sleep with you. <laughs> Laundry room. I meant to look to see if there was a darn refrigerator in the kitchen because there's a refrigerator right there. Okay, let's show them the outside. Are ya? Okay, so this is like the little garage. They've converted into like a patio, but there's no air, so it's hot in here. So I don't know why they got a table because ain't nobody gonna sit out here in the heat. And we didn't have to bring beach chairs, but we did. <laughs> TV out here. And then the best part of the house Oh, hold on, I can't get out. Why can't I get out? Hold on a minute. Okay, I was locked in. Okay. Oh, look at that. 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 Yeah, bud, do you love it? Mm -hmm. but, and we got a rooftop porch, but we don't know how to get up there. We gotta figure that out. <laughs> okay, so here's a short little video of from our driveway to the beach access. Um, it's not far at all. It wasn't a bad walk. Beach is at the end of that road right there. So it's not a far walk at all. So the water in Anna Marie Island was very nice. However, um, there was some effects of the red tide while we were there. Um, so there was some seaweed, it was a little bit murky, um, a few dead fish on the beach and in the water, 
Um, but it, it was nice. Um, not, we are frequent Destin travelers, so it's hard not to compare it to Destin. Destin water is crystal clear. It's beautiful. Um, this water was not. Uh, however, like I said, I think a lot of it was from the red tide, um, but here are a few pictures of the beach. So let's talk about the sunsets and the sunrises on Anna Maria Island. Um, they are some of the prettiest sunsets I've ever seen. Um, we went to a couple different places. Well, the first night we just went right across the road and it was absolutely beautiful. Um, and then the second night we actually went to Bean Point, which is on the very north end of the island. It's the northernmost point of the island. Um, it's called Bean Point and it's super, super beautiful sunsets. Um, and the sand was so powdery and soft and white at Bean Point. It was a a gorgeous, gorgeous place. Um, we have decided that if we go back to Anna Maria Island, we will um, stay, this time we stayed on the south end in Bradenton, but next time we'll stay probably in between the middle and the north points of Anna Maria Island, so between Holmes Beach and Bean Point, um, because that was where the nicer beaches were, um, the water was clearer, the sand was better, and the area was quieter, it was nicer, there was some, I mean, gorgeous, gorgeous houses right near Bean Point. Um, we can't stay in those, but, um, you know, I do like that area better, so if you're looking for a little bit more class, nice, quiet area, I would definitely recommend in between homes and Bean Point, um, more towards the north end of the island. So here are a few pictures of the sunset in Bean Point. Next place we went for sunset was a place called Beer Can Island, and it's actually just over the bridge on the south side of Anna Maria. Um, if you go over the bridge to Longboat Key, Beer Can Island is right there on the right, um, and it was an, a really amazing place. Um, it was a lot of driftwood and trees in the sand. If you've ever been to Botany Bay near Charleston, that's what it reminded me of. Botany Bay was is a little bit prettier. Um, but they're they're doing construction on Bear Can Island. I'm not sure why they're doing construction. Um, they're actually getting a, rid of a lot of the trees and driftwood, um, which I think is a shame because that's what made the beach so unique and so beautiful. But it ended up being a beautiful place for our sunset pictures um, this past week. And it, they turned out really good. So here are a few of those. And then I'm also going to post a picture of the sunrise. The morning that we left was the only time I got up early enough to see the sunrise, but it's a completely unfiltered picture and it was absolutely gorgeous. I've never seen a sunrise that pretty. It was right on the bay, um, so the, the sun rose on the bay and it set on the gulf. Um, and we were right, like I said, right across the road from the bay. So it was a gorgeous, gorgeous sunrise. Okay, so let's talk about food options. So we ate at a few different places. The very first place we ate at was a place called Tide Tables, and it was my absolute favorite. Um, it's actually not on the island, but it's right over the bridge, um, the south bridge near our house that we stayed at. Um, if you go right over back over that bridge off the island, the Tide Tables is right on the right. And it's a really cute atmosphere. It's outdoor seating. Most of the restaurants there were outdoor seating, which is fine. Um, it was a cute environment. And they have, if you like fish tacos, or even if you don't, because I didn't think I liked fish tacos, but apparently I do, if they're good enough. And these were phenomenal. I have never, I mean, that was probably the best thing I've ever ate in my life. Um, they put a ginger sauce on their fish tacos, and it's a mahi fish that they use. Holy cow, who would think to put ginger sauce on fish tacos? I don't know, but they did, and it was fantastic. So definitely try out Thai Tables. We actually ate there twice. We went and ate there the first time, and then the second time we got it to go and ate it at our house while we were getting ready for our sunset pictures. Um, so they were absolutely fabulous. 
And then we tried a place called the Ugly Grouper, which I had heard had the best fish tacos on the island. That's false. Tide Tables definitely had the best fish tacos. Um, the Ugly Grouper, their food was, it was good. Um, it was probably maybe my third or fourth favorite place that we ate at. Um, but it was a cute, awesome atmosphere. They had live music. They had really cute decor. They had this huge grouper made out of like metal and recycled material. I've got a picture with that. I'll post it. And then we also tried Rod and Real Pier Restaurant. Um, we waited two and a half hours to eat at this restaurant because the, this is the one we had heard the most about. And it's like this little shack on the end of this fishing pier. They only had nine tables. So when you think about it, it's understandable in the midst of summer where all the tourists are um, that you're going to have to wait a long time. So if you are expecting it, um, you know, that's up to you if you want to wait that long. But would I wait two and a half hours again? No, I would not. Um, it's good. It's not two and a half hour wait good. <laughs> um, but it was a cute little place. I have a picture there too on the end of the pier. And then we also ate at... Um, Gulf Drive, Gulf, Gulf Drive Cafe. Yeah, Gulf Drive Cafe. Um, we were actually told by someone that they didn't recommend it, but it was near our house. Um, it was the last night and I was like, let's just walk here. It's right on the beach. Um, so we went, ended up going and it was really good. Um, that was probably my second favorite, second or third favorite place that we ate. Um, I got these, the Diablo shrimp pasta, and holy moly, it was so good. It was very spicy. If you like spicy, um, if you like seafood, I would suggest getting that. It was just absolutely fabulous. And the, the view, you could not have a better dinner view. Like I said, we were right on the beach, right on the sand. Um, if it would have been sunset, it would have been perfect. Um, so we really enjoyed that. So we also did a little shopping while we were on the island. They actually have what they call um, a beach market. It's on Coquina Beach. Um, and they do that on Wednesday and Friday mornings. I think it's like 10 to 4. And we went there on Wednesday and it was super cute. The The market is right on the right beside the beach on the sidewalk. It's very shaded, a bunch of trees. Um, they had all kinds of vendors, a lot of um, handmade stuff. Um, jewelry, food, just all kinds of different things. Um, we bought a few things. It was super fun, uh, super interesting items, um, really nice people that are vendors there. Um, so we enjoyed that. I definitely suggest trying out the beach market while you're there. Like I said, they only have it on Wednesdays and Fridays. And then um, we also went to Historic Bridge Street, which is super cute, um, especially at night. Once it gets dark, it's lit up, it's lively, it's fun. Um, they have a couple restaurants, a couple shops. There's actually a pier at the end of that road. We didn't go on the pier, um, but we did go into the shops and they have a super cute, um, like sweets, uh, chocolate a shop. Um, and it was really cute. They had this bubblegum bar and I'll post a picture of my kids sitting at the bubblegum bar, but it was super cute. So I definitely suggest that. Um, but all in all, we had a great vacation at Anna Maria Island. Um, I gave you all my rec recommendations. Like I said, definitely, um, next time staying more towards the north end, that would be my number one tip. Um, staying in between the middle and the north end of the island. I, however, I did love our house. I'm like, if I could just move that house to a different part of the island, which I'm sure all the houses are super nice, super cute. Um, so that's my tips. That's my recommendations. If you have anything else that I need to try next time, shoot me a message. Let me know. Comment. Let me know um, if you want any more advice or tips or, you know, my suggestions. Um, I'll be glad to let you know that as well. And hope you get to visit Anna Maria soon.